Hi, I'm Rina. I'm gonna take you guys to Technopotney to show our IoT tickets. IoT ticket is a platform developed by Wafise. It is used to observe, follow, and remotely control devices and machines. There are three ways to get measurement data into projects. We are using OpenSea server, gateway, in our project to get the data from the robot into our IoT ticket. Here we have ABB IRB 1200 robot. And here we have the IoT ticket that we use to display the data we fetch from the robot. From the IoT ticket view, you can see the current values of the parameters imported from the robot into the ticket. When offline, the IoT ticket shows the status as offline and the rest of the fields are empty. When online, you can see all the relevant parameters and their current values, including current mode and the mode number in the robot. The delay is approximately 3 seconds. The imported tags are connected to the specific fields using the data flow editor. This is where you select the data you want to observe. Using the OPC gateway, we import the selected data tags, for example, coordinates or the mode, into the editor and create the wanted functions and boxes to them using the toolbox. For example, the mode of the robot is shown in the IoT ticket using a lookup table tool. We have another tab created in the ticket which shows the 3D model of the robot and we are moving into it next. Hello, my name is Laura and I'm here to demonstrate how a 3D widget works in the IoT ticket. Here we have a model of, uh, that's based on the IRB1200. Uh, it's being constructed in Blender from object parts that are readily available on the ABB website. And we've also added an armature uh, inside it to allow movement in the body. The 3D widget uses 3JS 3D library and it can handle JavaScript, DAE, JSON and object formats, textures and play animations on skinned models. We've chosen to use the JSON format since it supports dynamic animations and it is flexible when transporting between softwares. We can move the model around and zoom in and out. The point of the model is to enable virtual monitoring of the robot's current task. Hope you enjoyed our video. Feel free to use our IoT ticket while working with ABB IRB 1200 robot. Thanks for watching.